Hey everyone, and welcome back to our wetlands area. Last episode, we actually started to make this area look a lot better. And today we are going to finish this off and making it really look like the concept art. So you're in for that, let's get going. Because today is going to be extremely special. First of all, because this area is going to be done and you'll see the real-time part in about eight-ish to nine minutes. Um, so if you're in for real-time part, you know, stick with me. But also if you're into new, know more about my future project in Planet Zoo, it's gonna be your video because there's going to be a brand new you know, series that is going to replace Yosemite Valley. Yes, that's right. It's going to replace Yosemite Valley. But for you know, there is um, actually a lot more to come with Yosemite Valley. But there are a couple of details about this in about four to five minutes. First of all, let's talk about today's video. Now, I said in the last video that there is going to be the finishing status of this in today's video. And here we are. We built a couple of little buildings. We are going to, you know, spend some time uh, making making the little toilet building at this spot over here. We are going to finish some of the unfinished edges by putting some fences and stuff down. So, you know, the normal stuff. But the more you will see at the end of the video, there's basically a little bit of space left that goes into the big cat area, which is going to be mostly some, you know, I don't, yeah, I guess it's going to be mostly foliage and some canopies maybe, in, something in that direction. But then again, we also have some shelters for the animals that we are going to prepare over here. And overall, the wetlands area turned out to be absolutely fascinating. I am a huge fan of this area now, and I think it's not, you know, it's not better, just a little bit. It's not much better. It's a million times better than what has been in here before. The more I think about this old safari area, the more I hate it. <laughs> it's really... I don't know why I thought at this point that this was a good one, but I wanted to quote a comment uh, from last video or like from one of my last posts. And this comment is actually very funny because in this comment someone stated, uh, the rate I'm, you know, changing my habitats, I could easily just start to rebuild Yosemite Valley. That's not entirely true, but I did rebuild quite a lot lately. This is down to the fact that most of the things I have done very early on in this series um, have been done a with the old game in mind um, that means not the old game but like the game without many of the DLCs and especially the Europe DLC and the conservation pack they really really upped the quality of the pieces and the way you can build especially how detail you uh, detail you can build and a lot of animals that we got over the course of time fit just a lot better in here so <clears throat> the time we built this my voice is gonna be away let me just drink a little I'm just gonna, you know, I'm not gonna pause this video now. I'm gonna drink something. This is real, okay? This is real life. I need to drink something, so you got some drinking ASMR now, if you fancy doing that. Mmm. 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 Tasty water. Now my voice is back, which is good. But what I just was about to say is that also the, the animals that came into the game were so helpful to create this area. And they were just so much more fitting animals for like a Northern American or Central American build. And we we weren't forced to fill the gaps with existing animals of the game that naturally wouldn't fit into that area. So we obviously did the African area, so not all of the animals are gone. So, you know, the giraffes uh, were kept, the gorillas are kept, but, you know, some of the other ones have gone. And this is also pretty much okay by me because at the end of the day, it's all about the quality of the build, and I think the quality of the build just raised tremendously by the fact how we changed the, the last thing. So imagine, we just changed the entire African area completely. We changed the, com the, the complete approach on how we have the uh, monkeys and apes in the zoo. Uh, we rebuilt the habitat for the chimpanzee and put the big cat in, uh, the aim of leopard to be more precise. So just a lot of things were put into place that made a lot more sense for the whole cohesiveness of the zoo, for the story of the zoo, and also for a lot more things. But there's still one big thing that, you know, makes me makes me not ready to finish the project, and that is going to be the next, the next episodes. Uh, there will be some major spoilers at the end of the episode, by the way. And if you, there's a little plunge here, you know, a little little hook. If you guys are interested in future projects and you want to know more about that early on, I really do recommend to become a member on the channel. Uh, you can do so by clicking the member button, obviously, to the uh, 
uh, bottom right of the screen when you watch the video or you know on mobile I don't know you've got to scroll down and you've got the button there whatever but um, I try to keep you posted every now and then about new projects I'm gonna give you some screenshots in fact there is already a screenshot of the upcoming Yosemite changes because they're mostly done um, and there will be also early screenshots of new projects uh, new games when I have them uh, I haven't been too active there lately because of the little one and stuff but I'm trying to be more active there so if you are in for these little bits and pieces uh, i highly do recommend and also as i said i just always try to keep it as low as possible so it's gonna always stay at 99 cents for the lowest membership option so um because i'm not a big fan of these you know big things there are no tiers that are different if you want to do more you can but there's no difference in the tiers so you can do whatever you want um, if you want to have these spicy things and i'm also going to share some more stuff in the future where you can really do something i'm going to have some exclusive blueprints and all these kind of things planned um, but as always a month later or a little bit later i will always give them to the public so don't worry about that so i'm, not, I'm not, never going to be like 100 exclusive here uh, I, i'm just not a big fan of that concept if you guys want to support me i think it should be enough to have these little things and if not that's totally fine by me as well now speaking of this this is the last little thing i have to mention i'm going to repurposing one of haribo's buildings and i think it's only fair because we ripped apart his wonderful ape house which just didn't fit the style of yosemite however his buildings for the yosemite uh, part that is on the other side where he built this uh, you know reindeer habitat and stuff they are wonderful and I, I just wanted to have one of these buildings in this area simply because they fit so well in and i just repurposed it a little bit so nothing crazy However, I teased the new project now a couple of times, but before we talk about the new project, here's the next steps for Yosemite and, you know, equally the last steps for Yosemite. So it's not a big surprise that I have one area left that is really, really, really not my, up my alley. I really don't like it. Um, there are a couple of reasons why it turned out the way it is, and if you follow my uh, Twitter feed and also the YouTube feed, you have seen that the elephant habitat is gone. Now, the African elephants will remain the uh, animal that is in that area. However, I completely changed that area, like entirely. The idea is different, the style is different, the layout is different, and I'm 90% done, so um, uh, most likely we are going to finish this either tonight on the on the stream or we're going to start the brand new project without naming it but uh, i'm i'm very much willing to do this the best way possible because the elephant area was one of the biggest pain points for me uh, for many many reasons uh, it has actually begun as a placeholder so the the reason i put it there at the very very first moment was to have something in this spot as like a little focus point to arrange the bridges and stuff around. So it wasn't really meant as a as a habitat per se. It was just I needed something on this piece of land to have a focus point to see how high it is, to see the sidelines, you know. And then it just remained there and I, I kept doing changes to it, but always like smaller, smaller changes that really didn't do the job. Um, so at the end of the day, the more I looked into the comments, there were barely any comments about any other area anymore, but the comments about the elephant habitat, they remained being there. So it's, it wasn't only me, it was also you guys. And even though I said I'm not going to touch it, I, I do touch it because it's going to be the last thing we are going to do in this zoo and then I'm going to release this. This is going to be ended for the moment. There is one chance that we will get back to this, one single chance, and that is when we get some type of... Um, flying birds, I have to say, because people will always correct me that we do have birds in the game, but I mean actually flying birds and some eagles and stuff like that, that really does fit the vibe of Yosemite. Then I will go back and do all the implied things we have and change them into actual things, but that is it. That's it. There's not going to be anything more than that. Some finishing touches to the railroad, but other than that, this is going to be released into the wild. We're going to do a fully final tour. I have some ideas how to do it. I definitely want to have some guests in. Uh, I'm not going to do this tour my, on my own. Uh, and it's not going to be one part. For sure not. It's going to be two parts because there's no way this can be one part. And then this is it. And we are going to go into a new project. If you guys are interested for the new project, well, actually, there are some hints already in the membership area. But also, 
Maybe tonight, I don't know. Maybe we're going to start tonight, who knows? So make sure to be there or be square. But now let's move over to the real time part and I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this time lapse. I really do hope. And now let's move over to the real time, Rudy. Here's to a little real time part. And um, I have to be a little bit careful to not give you guys a major spoiler if you will look at this side there. But um, you know, I'm just going to try my best. So you can see this is the little toilet building we uh, plopped in here. As you can tell, uh, it's just simple. You know, you can't see too much from over here. You just go in and then there is something. Uh, props go to Haribo, as I said, uh, you know, that's that's one of his buildings uh, repurposed for that. Um, yeah, there's a couple of little things I have to do. You know, that just doesn't look right over here. I'm going to do this with the wonderful um, uh, tool that is called free build. It's going to be a very easy Easy task to all make that all look good um, you know that's nothing too crazy to do and then over here you have the entrance to that little habitat a couple of little boxes and stuff over here to to make it a little bit appear as if it's hidden um, uh, little signs and stuff missing you know nothing too crazy but if you go in here you can see uh, it is all done and yeah as I already said in the uh, time lamps I have decided to to really go with most of uh, yeah, most of the most of the, the the way the way it is like the pathing. Um, I just like how it looks at the end of the day, um, simply because it is just the normal um, path and then just kind of highlighted by some of these viewing platforms. But you know, it's just what it is. We do have to do a couple of different footers here and there. Some some pieces are a little bit too much floating. I'm just gonna do uh, do hit play over here, even though. It is very choppy. <laughs> it's okay today, by the way. I have no idea why my computer is uh, handling some days better than the others, but you know, today is is it's a little bit bad. We have like about 10 FPS, which I know it's a it's a very bold claim to call that better, but it is the way it is. You know, I really hope that in the future, with a bit of better and more powerful CPU, I might actually be able to make a good tour of that. I'm planning to get a new one, but with all the uncertainties of the energy crisis and stuff at the moment, uh, it is not the best idea to just go all in and buy something. So if there's any sponsor out there, hey, <laughs> here I am. But uh, other than that, we have to wait for it. Yeah, I'm just not going to walk over here because that's not what I wanted to show you anyways. Let me just quickly uh, hit pause again to at least have some FPS. Oh, you can see how much better it is in pause. It's almost 25 FPS in pause mode, which is great. Uh, again, I shouldn't look too much over there. Uh, to not give away too much, but I can only tell you the next episode is going to be amazing. I'm just going to look down to the floor so you can't see too much. Okay, we can have a little look over here. This is our building. Just love it. The restaurant is looking really cool. But what I wanted to show you anyways is this side over here. Received a little update, as you can see. Uh, pretty much what I wanted to achieve. Uh, we have like this wonderful little look in here. You can see the bridge and you know all. Look at that. It just lo looks really cool. Like with the clutter on the ground, it looks so natural. It really looks like as if this is the reserve uh, that I was wishing to create with that. And then with the big half dome showing you how massive it is, putting that all into scale. And I'm really, really, really proud of what we've done. Yeah, um, keeping that over here very clean, very simple. We are going to put a couple of little things here uh, when the time is ready and then over here made like a little little planter nothing too much grown because obviously because of the roof there is not too much sun and stuff what would go in here the entrance to the trail from this side again very nicely um, separated from over here if you go a little bit upwards here you have a little sneak peek with that you know you can just climb up here and then have a little sneak peek into that area from this angle and then if you go around just that area, you can actually take this right hand path and have this wonderful dedicated viewing platform that gives you even a better view of the finished area. And look how cool that looks. I'm just gonna change. Oh my God, that was a lo wonderful notification late in the evening. Um, and if you go over here, that is very neat. Like different sun levels. Oh, it's just looking so cool. Love it. I think this is, this is kind of a good, like around 11.37-ish is really good. Ooh, look at that. It's just really, it just really clicks with me. It just really clicks. I think it looks really, really decent. Um, and then just to not make it too awfully long over here, I'm just gonna show you running around this way. And then we are all the way here. It's all, you know, all hidden away pretty nicely because the focus of this area should be the monkeys over here, uh, the, the apes, I should say. And then you can see all kept very naturally. This is where you can enter the trail on the other side. And, you know, that's where you go in and then all is good. There's one of the Nile I choose. Really love it. 
jeez, I, I, it's, it's so much better than I expected. And this is something really cool. Look at that, it just looks so cool. Look at that. Oh my God, it's really looking good, isn't it? It's really, really looking dope. Um, and I also love the fact you can actually look into one of these shelters. Um, there are some shelters around here, but also nicely hidden, as you can see. Yeah, just in general, very nice. One last thing I wanted to show you is I changed this area here slightly, made it a bit more overgrown so that the animals can pass by but still have a bit of land area to go over. And um, that's about it. Yeah, I think there's not really much more I can say um, because this is basically the wonderful wetlands trail. And I love it. I, I really do love it. I think it, it just really turned out better than I thought. And now let's jump out of this camera. What is going on on that time of the day? Uh, let's go in the free look mode and just do it that one. And there you go. Look at that. This is brilliant. This is brilliant. Look at this, guys. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's the finished state of it. And I, I just genuinely love how this turned out. I really, really love how this all turned out. It's looking absolutely the way I envisioned it in the concept, you know, uh, really wanted it to have it that way. Um, looking really, really inviting, at least in my mind. Um, it's looking really, really nice. Just exactly the way I wanted to have it. Oh God. So yeah, please let me know in the comments down below what you think about this area. Um, while well, I have to check afterwards what is going on there. And uh, yeah, I really hope you guys are excited for the next episode because that is going to be absolutely mega. And um, yeah, I really hope you guys are in for it. It's going to be this weekend. It's already done. And if you want to be in a live stream uh, tonight, we're going to have a little live stream over here as well. So if you guys want to join, make sure to check the Twitch channel. Until then, have a good time. And if you want to binge watch now, there's going to be a wonderful video for you to the top right now. So click on that if you want to. I talk to you in the next one. And goodbye.